Hello everybody, Mike from Southern California again. And on today's episode of Voices Big and Small, I'll be talking about Calgary-based voice actress Lori, uh, Laura Lori Chinsky, also credited as Lori Barnes-Smith. So let's get to this. Okay, so Lori Pachinski was born um, on July 8th, 1985 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She currently, she's of course an actress slash voice actress who currently resides in Canada right now. Um, now I couldn't find much in terms of her overall biographical information, so I'm sorry I don't have more information on her. Um, but um, I know she has a Twitter account and Facebook, you know. Um, but let's look. Let's look at. Let's look at the credits that she's had over the years. She, of course, um, worked with Chinock Animation, which was the casting office for Blue Water Studios for a number of the dubs that they did for Bandai. For, you know, for Bandai and more recently, you know, th you know, through Ocean. Um, so let's get started on these credits here. So, Lori's career dates back to basically 2000, 2001, around there. Um... Her first role was as a narrator in Jubei Chan. As I explained earlier in in um probably in in Scott Roberts and um maybe in Caroline Day's um because they both were invo involved in Jubei Chan. Um Jubei Chan was basically about a girl named um Gio Nanahara who was who had been passed down Jubei Yagi's eye patch and basically would end up being possessed by a spirit to go out and defend her family against, you know, an aged old curse or aged old grudge. Um, in Jubei Chan, of course, Lori was cast as narrator. So you'd often hear her voice, you know, at the beginning and ending of episodes, like making introductions or doing the preview for the next episode. And as said, she was also, during this time, she was still being credited as, you know, Lori Pachinski. Um, then in 2001, she was cast in Crest of the Stars as Marka, a female government... Uh, Let's see. She was Marka, which I believe was one of the officers, maybe. A female government official. Yoon Suryu, who I believe was one of the crewmates on one of the ships. Mui, Mui Nishu, emergency announcement, port announcements, additional voices. She basically, you know. I think Marka and Uni Surya were really the only, and Muni Munishu were maybe the only character voices you did. Others were like kind of additional voices. Crest of the Stars is, you know, is basically about the idea of an intergalactic empire known as the Ab Empire coming and basically through peaceful means taking over. Earth, and then you know met some members of Earth becoming part of the of the Ab nobility, you know, in exchange for peaceful transition. Um, basically, the uh, Crest of the Stars follows um, an Ab princess who's trying to escort um, uh, a former Earth, now current Ab nobility, to. Um, to their home, you know, basically get him to where he can start his study in the military academy. Um, it's a pretty interesting, you know, Crest of the Stars, along with its sequels, Banner of the Stars and Banner of the Stars 2, is a pretty 
pretty good, um, pretty interesting um, space odyssey type movie that you guys might want to check out. Then in 2002, of course, Lori Barnes or Lori Baczynski was cast in Saber Marionette J in the in basically the Blue Water Ocean Bandai dub of Saber Marionette JX J T J2 X. Um, Saber Marionette's kind of an interesting one too. Just a um, bunch of android girls. It's kind of android girl meets harem anime basically. Um, she was cast as Tom uh, Tama Saburo in um Tama Saburo in Saber Marionette J. So you know it's all you know the Saber Marionette series is an interesting one. Um, you just have to be aware that each of the different series. I think two of them were dubbed by LA. One I think was dubbed by. Maybe the Houston voice crowd, and then Saber Marionette J the X is dubbed up in Canada, or or I think two of them were in Canada. One was in a you know, I don't know. All four will get kind of dubbed by different companies. Two of them were dubbed by one by I think LA, and then the other two maybe by the two Canadians. But but Lori Baczynski was cast as Tama Saboro in Saber Marionette J. So as we move forward here, and these are some these are credits under the name Lori Barnes Smith. She was cast in the of course the Blue Water Blue Water dub of Dragon Ball GT as Marin um, in two thousand three. Then in two thousand five in Hoop Days, which is a which is a basketball anime. She was cast as Satomi Anzaki, who I believe was kind of a love interest of one of the main characters. Actually, she was the love interest, and then she became the team manager of the team. Um, she was also cast in a video game as Kisato. She was cast as um, Kisato Yamabuki in the video game Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Never Ending Tomorrow. Then in 2006, she was um, cast as Haruka Suzushiro, uh, as well as Kanzaki Fangirl in My Hime. My Hime and Mayatome were pretty interesting too. You know, girls getting superpowers, you know, as long as they stay pure and stuff like that. Um, Haruka was a pretty tough one too. Um, but Mahime and Mayutomi, and I'll get to Mayutomi in a sec here, but but she was cast as Haruka Suzushiro in Mahime. And then she was also cast as Ai Mori um, in the Law of Ueki as basically the female, the female lead of the protagonist, of course, um, Ueki. You know, she would eventually develop her own she would eventually be given her own God candidate powers. Basically, the law of Ueki was about God celestial beings from heaven who all became God candidates. They would choose, um, like I think a middle school or high schooler, endow them with um, powers, and whoever won at the end, whichever, whichever, whoever won at the end, the God candidate would basically become God, and. Um, their their charge, as it were, the person they give power to would get a wish granted. So that's an interest. And in Ueki's case, he had, he had gained the power of turning trash into trees. So talk about the ultimate recycler, right? <laughs> For a lot of the environmentalists out there. Um, but Lori was cast as I Mori. Her power was to make people fall in love with with the glasses that would be on her head. She was also kind of a Nerdy girl, but um, cute in her own right. Oh, well, moving on then. Moving on to 2007 to Maizime, aka Mayatome. Lori was cast as Erstein Ersti Ho and Brigadier Meister Haruka Armitage. Of course, 
Haruka Armitage is based on Haruka Shizashiro in the My My Hime series. She also she also lent her singing voice to shine your power around me for Erstein in, in the series as well. She was also cast as Marita in the European um, animation European animation BB Blocksburg. And then she would be cast in 2007 as well as El Viano in Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Um, again, doing the, doing the blue water work there um, as a video game. And I think, from what I understand, she was she was this character throughout um, throughout the, that particular video game franchise. In 2008, she would repri she would reprise her role. As Brigadier Meister Haruka Armitage and Erstein Ersti Ho in Maya Tome Ziwe, the, the OVA, as well as being a young slave lord. And then, in, also in 2008, she was cast in the 1999 version of Hunter Hunter as the English voice Akara, the, the 200th floor clerk of, you know, in the Tower of Heaven arena, and then um, and Anita. I think Kara and Anita were both. Um, Kara may have actually been one of the hundreds, but Anita, I think, may have been referee. Then in 2009, she was cast in Pretty Cure as um, Lillian and Sophie. And, and then, also in 2009, um, in Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2, she would reprise her role as El Bianco, or Viano. In the video, in the in that video game series, and Dynasty Warriors, to in that video game, and she would again reprise her role as El Viano in Dynasty Warriors Gundam Three in 2011. Now, after that role, she seemed, from what I saw, based on what I you know you could look up and stuff like that, she seemed to take kind of this big break. I mean, she did other acting work, but for, in terms of anime work, she uh, and according to Anime News Network, she she worked for Chinook Animation from like 2001 to 2012. But she did come back in 2017 um, when they brought her in, as, you know, as to do the English voice for um, Hanukkah in um, Hanukkah in the series. Um, Kids neither. Kind of the the one represent uh, the one representing pride, the the sin of pride among the seven deadly sins of the characters. Um, I think she, I think in Japanese folklore she was being considered like the the know it all or something like that. I um, but Kids neither was pretty interesting too. Kind of a way of linking people together by by linking them psychically to where they feel each other's pain. So, with that being said, um, yeah, this one not going to be as long, un for unfortunately, because Roy Paczynski is one of those who didn't have as many roles as some others had, so um, this video is a little shorter, but She's she's a nice voice to listen to, and I would hope you guys would would take some time to go out and check out her work. You know, primarily on you know, Law of Ueki and My Hime, probably her two biggest pieces of work right there. So, um, as always, guys, as um, as you guys you know check out their works, always remember you know. If you ever want to meet these voice actors and actresses, the best way to do it is to contact your local conventions and very politely and respectfully ask them to invite them to their cons. Um, you know, or for those of you who are considering starting cons, invite some of these ones out as well. You know, don't just feel like you just have to invite Funimation or LA based voice actors. Not that there's anything wrong with that per se, but um, there are like 
a lot of voice actors, actresses, who I'm sure would love the fanfare and love the chance to interact with their fans, you know, if you give them a chance. Lori Pachinski, you know, from up in Canada, you know, again, she was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but she resides now up in Canada, so, um... So I would, I would, you know, if you guys check out her work and like it, you should, you know, contact your local cons and get her invited to the con. Um, and with that, check the links below. Um, you know, check the links below. Um, you guys can contact me through my Discord. You know, you can direct message me there. Join it if you'd like. Love to be able to have some conversations with you guys. Um, or you can, of course, still comment on my videos and stuff like that. Um, also, um, you check out, because I'm also promoting a bunch of different dub companies. You guys might want to check those out. Um, you know, check out their works. You know, because remember, Funimation is not the only game in town. You know, there's a lot of other companies out there that do a lot of great work, too. You don't have to tolerate some of the shenanigans that Funimation has put up this year. You know, you put your effort and your hard-earned money into other companies, and, you know, eventually Funimation will get the message, you know. Um, and also, you know, I'm still, of course, promoting the GoFundMes. As always, guys, never feel like you have to donate. Um... Nobody wants to see you go bankrupt. If it's on your heart, if you have the means to, and it's on your heart to do so, please consider donating. If you already donated, please consider donating again. And if you, um, and if you cannot donate, then um, you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. Because sharing is caring after all, and you never know. Maybe there's somebody in your circle of friends who will, you know, who, you know, who may want to help. You never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. And with that, if you guys like this content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so that you guys can check these videos out when they come out. You know, um, I heard that YouTube decided to do a purge on Christmas, which is kind of... Kind of, kind of messed up, but you know, um, but yeah, um, so with that, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and stuff like that. Uh, this, of course, don't forget this will premiere on Friday. Um, I guess I shouldn't because as I'm watching it on that day, you, <laughs> but anyways, um, hopefully, I'll see you when this video premieres. If not, then I'll see you on Monday. Bye.